Yep, another day here in Utah. It's a beautiful sunset. Got my score sheets back from uh, from over at uh, the beer place. <laughs> uh, from a friend Cody down at my local homebrew store. He uh, ended up doing a, a score sheet for two of my beers, the uh, Vanilla Stout, and then I took him down my uh, IPA. And, um, you know, again, <laughs> said it before and I'll say it again, you know, I brew my beer for me. Um, don't really care what the score really is. Looking more towards, you know, what what I can learn from it, what I can do better. Maybe get somebody else's opinion other than my own and my friends. But anyway, so uh, we'll go ahead and start with this uh, vanilla stout. And uh, so the big things he said, he says it's a very great beer. Um, he uh, said that it was a little bit, a little bit on the less carbonated side. And I think that's a lot of the reasons because I bottled it off of my keg, so uh, can't complain about that. And um, you know, he, he said it was really good as far as the vanilla. The vanilla wasn't overpowering. Um, it kept kind of the same tone all throughout the beer. Um, it wasn't too sweet, uh, which, okay. But um, he did say that uh, instead of using the uh, flake wheat, go with a flake barley. Um, you know, just to give it some of that residual sweetness, I guess. But anyway, so out of a, a total, total of 50, um, he scored that beer at a 40. So I'm really, really quite happy about that. Um, said that it was perfect to style, the smell, and, and uh, the way the beer was put together. So can't complain. Now on my IPA, um, it actually scored a 38 out of 50, which again, <laughs> really pretty happy. Kind of surprised about it. Um, so this is a really nice beer. Had a lot of different hop character to it. Um, said it was really close um, on the style as far as that goes between an IPA and an APA. He said it was pushing the scale on the APA side and maybe a lighter IPA because of the alcohol content. You know, my IPA only came out at uh, 6.1 if I remember correctly. But anyway, but he said that it was it was really you know, just hit a lot of different flavors throughout. Um, some of the ones, my eyes are terrible. But some of the ones he mentioned was uh, yeah, pine, uh, grapefruit uh, peel. Uh, kind of had a toffee character to it. Um, so yeah, anyway. So uh, I'll keep those and, and uh, maybe take a couple of su suggestions when I brew them again. You know, you can always do version 2, 3, 6, 15. It don't matter. But anyway, so, I mean, I hope everybody's having a great week. And uh, you know, I got some brew footage of uh, doing a um, milk chocolate blackberry stout. And, uh, you know, I went pretty heavy on the, on the chocolate mold on this. And uh, also, uh, I'm going to use a pound and a half. Uh, I'm toying with the idea of a pound and a half to two pounds of uh, actually uh, organic blackberries just from the uh, health food store down the road. But um, yeah, so you can uh, kick all, get the hell out of here, and you can ch see some of the footage. We didn't do a whole lot this time, but yeah, anyway. But uh, hopefully it'll come out really good. It's down fermenting right now. Bubbling like crazy. Uh, my whole garden clone is just about done. Um, I uh, put the secondary additions in of the sweet, or no, excuse me, the bitter orange peel and another half ounce of coriander. Um, smells amazing. Uh, so we'll see how that comes out. Um, the When I transfer it from the primary to the secondary, uh, the smell, God, you know, just way, way, way orange, and you could t catch that coriander, kind of that earthy tone to it. Uh, the taste of it was great. You know, I'm not a huge wheat beer fan. Mostly, kind of made this for my local homebrew uh, guy, Cody, and uh, 
because he really likes it. Kind of part his recipe, part mine. But anyway, um, yeah, so it, it tasted really good. Um, you know, again, uh, straight orange up front, uh, earth tone or earthy taste to it. Uh, you know, and you catch that cor that spicy coriander on the back end. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see how it comes out when it's carved and aged for a little bit. And then I threw my Moon Helen Yold in the keezer. It's, uh, it's getting all carved up. And, uh, yeah, so four brews for January so far. Can't complain about that. But, uh, I think next one I want to go for is, uh, I want to do in a, a double IPA. And, uh. You know, looking, looking maybe using citrus, the bittering hop. I don't know. Well, I'll play around with it and see what's going to be best. But if you guys have any suggestions of what works good for your doubles, love to hear it. To post them in the comments down below. You know, and and uh, just appreciate you watching. And appreciate everybody. You know, uh, for just starting out, this has been a lot of fun for me. And and uh, even though I'm not a big camera guy, but. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. So, anyway, I'll kick you out of here. Quit talking because I'm sure you're sick and tired of hearing me mess up my words and all that other shit. But uh, we'll go to brew footage. So, uh, happy homebrew Wednesday and have a great day. Well, I think it's time to get a beer. Doing a supercharger here. Really liking this beer. It started out really good. Yeah, it's starting to clear up just a little bit. So, just one of those things, I guess. I'm gonna get ready to brew this. Uh, Milk chocolate blackberry stout. So, kind of something that, that I put together. I'm uh, going to be using about a pound and a half of, uh, of raw blackberries. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the secondary once they get ready to go. But anyway, we'll just keep on going here with this, uh, this brew day and, and uh, hopefully you'll stay along with me. So, cheers. to 168 degrees. Gonna go ahead and do the underletting of this. Um, milk chocolate blackberry stout. So there's my grains and uh, we'll go ahead and open this valve and open this valve and away we go. We're shooting for a 155 and looks like I undershot it a little bit with a 154, but I'll live with that. And uh, we'll put this thing to bed for the next 60 minutes. Collecting our uh, Vorloff, so we're just going to let that clear up and uh, get it back in the, in the mass ton, and then we'll fly sparge this bugger out. Well, there she is. She is dark, dark, dark. We're not even up to the light. Yeah, I think that'll be a great beer. About done sparging this out. Just got the last little bit going. And it looks like uh, that is some dark, dark, dark work. But what do you expect for a stout? I'm excited. So we're just continuing on for the brew day here um, on the milk chocolate blackberry stout. And uh, at the 60 minute mark and at the 30 minute mark, I have an ounce of East Kent Goldings uh, that will be going into the brew pod along with, of course, the Wolf Luck title. And I can't fucking talk today. So, anyway, we'll just continue going on and hopefully y'all can deal with my non talking abilities. Okay, so we're looking for a 1061. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I hit dead on. So really excited about that. 